All right, in this particular video, I want to talk to you very briefly about the 31 frequency versus the 13 frequency and the 96 frequency versus the 69 frequency. I'm not going to chug you that long. I'm not going to hold you that long, but I am going to give you, you know what I'm saying, the absolute truth. All right, then it's up to you for you to do your research and then for you to find synchronicities or whatever. But I have a playlist down there and it's called This Is My Family Tree. It's about the Anunnaki sky people or whatever, right? In that video, you will see that there's a Palladian guy who did extensive research on the Anunnaki. Now, sometimes people tend to fear that which they don't know. And so he was like saying that the, the Anunnaki was this and that. And you will see the superior, superior intel and technology of the Anunnaki. You will see it. You will see the presence in Africa as well as all, all the other corporations down here on Gaia Earth. All right. And then you will also see that um no you you will also see that you will also see that you know um you will see a number of different things when you go into that video right but then what you will do for real is that you will actually see um that the 31 frequency this is a palladian this ain't coming from me this is a palladian with blue eyes and all of that he did his he, he this boy was on his science all right. The only thing is that he feared what he don't understand. And so he thinks that all of the Anunnaki are this way in which we're not. That was just the Enlil part. It wasn't the inky part of the Anunnaki. All right. But he, he even lets you know that the 31 frequency is a petition for the Elohim angelic energies. Uh, and he also makes the association with the Nephilim giants and the Anunnaki's. The Nephilims are the Anunnaki's are Nephilim giants, period. And Nagas, certain Nagas are Nephilim giants. Period. That's why I keep the Nephilim consciousness. I already told you, put the death to midget consciousness and give birth to the midget consciousness and, and give birth to the Nephilim consciousness. You know what I'm saying? I would rather be a giant, infinite feet tall, infinite feet and infinite in sound, infinite in dynamics than to be uh, six foot such and such. You know what I'm saying? And so give birth to the... Uh, the, the the Nephilim consciousness, the giant consciousness, make the shift in that right there. Shift from that thinking small as a human to whatever size they told you that you was. Make the shift from that paradigm and that stale ass consciousness and come into the, the fifth dimension where your thoughts become physical and you can shape shift and manifest to whatever height. As long as you can produce a sound and vibrational frequency, you can become that that height that you desire. You see what I'm saying? And so give birth to the Nephilim consciousness. Even if you're not native to the Nephilim blood, you can still give birth to the Nephilim consciousness and you will see tangible results in your life. Period. I know people, I know beings that when I help them do get their energy game up and cross over to the other side and come into the fifth dimension. I know beings who when they came into the fifth dimension, they went from being five foot six to being six foot five. It's possible. You can do this shit overnight. You can do it right now. All you got to do is think it. I think, therefore, I am. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, that's one of the things I want to share with you. Now, in regards to the 96 frequency, it's very, it's, it's significantly essential for you to get this, what I'm about to share with you right now. All right? What I'm about to share with you right now, right now, is that the 96 frequency is the petition for angelic energies. That is, that is what is going down right now because the 69 frequency or the Pisces is what these low vibrational beings have been using to take energy from humans. You can go to the Portland, go to the Port, what's the Portland, what's the, 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 the that basketball team? Port, Portland Trailblazers? You can go to the Port, Portland Trailblazers basketball team, NBA, and they got the 69. Even Safeway, let me see that, that, that little gift thing. Yeah. Even look, even Safeway got the 69 thing. I ain't lying to you. This is what they use it. This is the yin yang. This is the six and the nine. The 69 going on. Safeway. 
Yin Yang, the Pisces symbol. You got to get out of that. The 69 frequency gives them power to vamp your energy. You got to stop saying the 69. Why you think they came up with the 69 in sex position? I eat your pussy while you suck my dick. You can get on top or I can get on top. You know what I'm saying? Why you think they got the 69 sex position? Because sex is is, is synergy. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's an exchange of energy. That's what the whole Pisces experience is about. All those who sign Pisces contracts and come down here supposed to learn the exchange of energy. Either they're good and they need to learn how to how to how to develop some kind of edge or they're they're all the way evil and they need to develop some good. That's what the Pisces contract is about in the zodiac. That's why I'm 13 cosmic law astrology. About to go to 31 cosmic law astrology on these on these niggas. So the thing is, is that you want to get off of the 69 frequency and start chanting the 96 frequency. The 96 frequency is the frequency that's going to put you in the highest vibrational frequency and wave. If you just start saying 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, 96, and start, you know what I'm saying, emitting that into your affirmations. When you write something down in your sentence in 96. You know what I'm saying? When you do, just keep that in your mind until it's programmed. Make that a part of your affirmations. I am the 96 frequency. 96. You know what I'm saying? When you begin to chant the 96, 96, you will begin to see your whole entire universe change. 96. You will begin to see your whole entire omniverse change. 96. You will begin to see your whole entire innerverse change. 96. You will begin to see your whole entire outerverse change. 96. You will begin to see the highest vibrational frequencies and your personal reality, 96, when you begin to use the 96 frequency. This is real knowledge right here for you. Now, realities are created when you accept that which you perceive. You've accepted the 69 frequency as being a frequency. You've used that low, all of the energy in that vortex is used up. That shit is being taken over by low vibrational reptilians. They, 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 now they using that to take your energy. It's a us against them type of thing with that frequency. So when you use that frequency, you you're you're you it, it that's already gone. The energy is burnt up in that. You got to get to the next vortex, and I'm giving you a portal of consciousness. I'm telling you what the next vortex is. The next vortex is the 96 frequency. When you begin to emit. Thoughts from the 96 frequency, you will watch that instant manifestation take place. Same thing with the 31 frequency. When you begin to emit thoughts into the universe using the 31 frequency, you will, you will begin to see a, a, a hedge of protection come around you. That will strengthen your aura. It will protect you. All kind of angelic energies will come around you. All kind of shit. I'm telling you, man, that's the frequency right there. In fact, a lot of musicians incorporate the number 31 in, in a lot of their magic. Why you think the dude, uh, Chris Angel, you know what I'm saying, is able to fly and all of that shit and, and do all of the little shit that he does to transcend time and shit? He's, he using, he's using the 3196 frequency. I'm telling you what time it is, yo. When you begin to use the 31 frequency, different cosmic energies begin to come around you. You can levitate using that because the energies, uh, the, the, the cosmic energies, these angelic energies will come around you and just fill you up. Man, I start using the 31 frequency, man. All kind of orbs start coming around me, fairies, all kind of, I'm telling you, man, ancestors show up, all that. You start using the 31 frequency. I ain't telling you this just because I want to come up with something fresh and cool. I'm giving you a portal into a higher state of consciousness. Get out of them old vortexes. The, the energy is burnt up. It ain't nothing there. They on their last leg. And they don't know what to do. I know what to do. And you now know what to do. So right now, you need to start chanting the 3196 frequency right now. Right now, you want to start chanting the 3196 frequency right now. Right now, you need to start chanting the 3196. 96 frequency right now for real yo why why is this important it's important because you have an infinite supply of all of your wants and all of your needs waiting on you you just need to know how to access that cosmic energy and right now dark lord light lord Eukilio Sai, 
Lord our new supreme Raphael has given you the dark code the light code and the master key to taking your cosmic experience to the next level I want you to make it in the fifth dimension I'm attempting to share with you secrets that's going to get you to break on through to the other side. Come on to the other side. Get out of third dimensional shit, man. You know what I'm saying? 3196. Nigga!